Hello everyone and welcome to another mind-blowing and a very beautiful chess game by Paul Morphy. And in this chess game Paul Morphy has the white pieces and his opponent is William Wills. And this game was played in England, Birmingham in 1858. So let's quickly check this very beautiful game. And Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4, c5, Sicilian defense, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, e6, bishop to e3, knight to f6, bishop to d3, e5, and Paul Morphy captures the knight, b takes on c6, and Morphy castled, d6, f4, pawn takes pawn, bishop takes on f4, bishop to e7, knight to c3, and rook to b8, aiming the pawn on b2, but Paul Morphy is not defending the pawn. And Paul Morphy played e5, attacking the knight. d takes on e5, bishop takes on e5. Rook to b4. And black is not capturing the pawn. So Paul Morphy played queen to f3. Queen to b6, check king to h1. And then bishop to g4, attacking the queen. Queen to f2, and exchanging the queens. Bishop to c5, attacking the rook again. Paul Morphy played rook from f to f1. Bishop to e7, bishop goes back. a3, attacking the rook, but rook to b7, still not capturing the pawn. And what's wrong with capturing on b2? Let's check it out. Well, Paul Morphy made a deep calculation in this position, so if rook takes on b2, then h3, bishop to e6, knight to d5, rook to b7, bishop to e6, rook to d7, and knight to c7, check, king to f8, rook from a to b1, and white is winning, and probably black felt the same, and probably black knew that this was going to happen, black felt bad about capturing the pawn on b2. That's why after Paul Morphy played a3, William Wills played rook to b7, knight to e4, bishop to d7, and then knight takes knight, g takes on f6, bishop takes on f6, bishop takes bishop, rook takes on f6, but rook takes on b2, getting back the pawn, rook to e1, check, bishop to e6, and Paul Morphy played bishop to f5, bishop is pinned, king to e7, attacking the rook, rook to h6, rook from h to b8, and then bishop takes on e6, and black didn't capture back, and black played rook to b1, rook to g1. Well, if Paul Morphy would capture the rook, of course we have rook takes on b1. Only a rookie plays that move, of course, not Paul Morphy, so this is a back rank mate. That's why Paul Morphy is not a rookie, and he played rook to g1, f takes on e6, and then rook takes on h7 after king to d6, Paul Morphy captures another pawn, and in this position Paul Morphy is two pawns up, rook takes rook, king takes rook, rook to b1, king to f2, rook to b2, h4 by Paul Morphy, rook takes on c2, King to f3, king to e5, h5, king to f5, and h6, rook to d2, and h7. What a desperate, horrible position for black. This is why, after Paul Morphy played h7, black resigned. Well, Paul Morphy has one extra pawn, and in this position black is losing, and black can't even draw the game. So let me show you the possible moves as fast as possible, and these are the moves of the computer engine. So as you can see, well, black is not making any progress, so activating the king, and as you can see, this is losing for black. So king to b7, and this is a killer move, how to defend. Well, let's play a few more moves. And after rook takes on a7, king takes on a7, rook to g3, and eventually black is losing. That's why. After Paul Morphy played a7, William Wills resigned. And this is the last position of this game. 
So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care.